Welcome to Real Issues Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn, and the Miami Heat just lost to the Toronto Raptors 98-90. to And one thing that I've definitely realized over the course of these games with the Toronto Raptors is that we should have never have traded away Precious Achua. Precious Achua, he's 23 years old. He's drastically improved his game since he was with the Miami Heat. The first game with the Miami Heat, he had 18 points. He was 5 of 9 from the field, 11 rebounds, and 1 assist. The night that they beat the Miami Heat, he has 10 points, 5 of 12, 22 rebounds, and 2 assists. This guy is a walking double-double. Don't get me wrong. When we had Precious, he was terrible. He had a very hard time adapting to the NBA. He looked very confused out there. It looked like he was just running around, to be honest. He had a very hard time even putting back put-back dunks. You know, he had butterfingers. A lot of the teammates got upset with him because he would drop the ball, fumble the ball, just do a lot of mistakes. But One thing about the NBA, you have to let young guys develop. If you don't let young guys develop, they're going to end up developing on another team or they're going to wash out. But you have to be willing to put in the work with these young guys and develop them. In my opinion, they let him go way too soon. And especially how we got Kyle Lowry in return. So you're telling me that we let go of a 23-year-old double-double athletic freak, pretty much. This guy, has he's shooting threes. He's shooting the midi. He's rebounding. He's blocking shots. He's the guy that's going to get the chase down block. He's going to give 110%. He was a Miami Heat guy, and I don't understand why we let him go. I understand that we got Kyle Lowry, but Kyle Lowry is not worth the $90 million that we got. Right now, I would rather have Precious Achua. He would have been perfect next to Bam Adebayo, a double-double guy who can help Bam Adebayo protect the rim, who can do the pick and roll. He's a lob threat, block shots, help Bam Adebayo on defense. And overall, I think the Miami Heat made a huge mistake by letting him go. And I think that we're definitely seeing the decline of Kyle Lowry, and we should have kept pressure to Chua. He's drastically improved his game. You know, he's shooting the midi, like I said. He's shooting the three. And who knows? You know, I think that he's a very athletic guy, and that's what the Miami Heat right now. We lack rebounding, athleticism, and size. Let me know what you guys think about the Miami Heat. Do you guys think that they got rid of pressure to Chua too soon? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 800 subscribers.